Thank you, Mr. Barnes, for taking time out of your busy schedules to be interviewed today. That's okay, Sophie, but you can call me John. Who inspired you to become a footballer? Well, um, my biggest inspiration was my father. <clears throat> and my father played football for Jamaica. So when I grew up in Jamaica before I came to England, I always played football. So I never thought about being a professional footballer. I played football because I love playing. And that's what I always say to kids. Don't think about being a professional footballer. Think about playing football because you love it. Think about doing anything because you love doing it. And a consequence of having that desire and that determination <clears throat> meant that I became a professional footballer. But when I was little like you, I didn't think about being a professional footballer. I thought about just playing football because I loved football. Who is your favorite all-time player? My favorite all-time player now, I'll give you two players. The one now is Lionel Messi, because I think Lionel Messi is one of the greatest players ever. But when I was growing up, I loved Pele. Have you heard of Pele? Yes. He used to play for Brazil. He was very good. Yeah. What age did you become a professional footballer? I became a professional footballer when I was 17 years old. So that was quite young. But up until I was 16, I didn't know I was going to be a professional footballer because I was playing football in a park one day. I got offered a scholarship to go to Washington University, a football scholarship. And when I was 16 years old, uh, I was playing in the park and a taxi driver saw me playing and he knew a scout from Watford, which was my first club, and he recommended me to, to Watford. So until I was 16, I didn't even know I was going to be a professional footballer, but I was 17 when I started. Which team did you first play for? My first team was Watford. Um, and the chairman and the owner of Watford is someone that you may not know because you're very young, but I'm sure your mum and dad would. That was Elton John. Have you ever heard of Elton John? He's a singer, very famous singer. If you ask your mummy and daddy, they'll tell you. So he was our chairman and owner of Watford Football Club, and that's just outside London. When did you join Liverpool Football Club? Well, I paid for Watford when I was 17, and then when I was 23, six years later, I signed for Liverpool in 1987. So I played for six years for Watford. I had already been playing for England as well for four years before I even went to Liverpool. So although a lot of people, most people would recognize me and remember me for playing for Liverpool, but I had been playing already for four years for England before I even went to Liverpool, but I was 23. Do you like Liverpool? Yes. Which position did you play? I played left wing. Now that's a position I know that you don't like playing because you don't use your left foot. Yes. But what we're going to do about that, what we're going to do is we're going to practice, practice so that you can. And I'm going to tell you something now. Um, and I'm sure you have heard this saying, possibly. When I was young growing up, they used to say, pretend we did say, that practice makes. Perfect. Right. I'm going to give you another saying, just to add to that. And you can tell all your friends this. Yes, practice makes perfect. But a better saying is practice makes permanent. Yeah? Because... Practice makes permanent. I'll tell you why that's a better saying. Because if you practice, what do you, what sports do you do? I do all sports, okay. but probably rugby. Rugby, okay. So you do rugby, yes? So no. if you practice, okay, so do, do, do you play hockey? Do you play anything like that? I play you play cricket? I play, play a bit of cricket. You play tennis? Mm, I've not really played it, but I know it. Okay, so if you practice tennis like this, and you know when you play tennis, you throw a backhand, for example, you do that, yeah? So if you practice tennis, and you practice tennis like this, every day, will you become perfect? No. But you're practicing. Yeah. So why don't you become perfect? Because you're doing it wrong. You're doing it wrong. But uh, it will become permanent. So if you practice like this every day, you're tennis, you permanently play like that. So that's why practice makes permanent. So that's why correct practice is important for you to be perfect. Because people get into bad habits, just like oh, when you yeah. study. You don't like when you study for an exam in school. You know why you pass your exam? Because you remember You remember, it. and how do you remember it? It's By repetition. Right. So you study, 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 study. And that's what practice is. So when you practice with your left foot, practice kicking. Practice, 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 practice. Then you become perfect. I understand you were born in Jamaica, mm -hmm. but now living near Liverpool, you must speak a little Scouse. What are your favorite Scouse words? Well, my favorite Scouse words are Chicken. You know chicken? No. You don't know what chicken is? And dog? No. Do you know crispy dog? No. Crispy duck? Yeah. And chicken? Yeah. Oh, so? that's what it is. Chicken. Chicken. And dog. 
crispy dough. <laughs> so they're my two favorite. <laughs> but you know, because I know that you're from Ireland. Yeah. yeah. And my wife's family are from Ireland, they're from Galway. And you know, the majority of people from Liverpool came over from Ireland. At least 60% of the people in Liverpool, their families 100 years ago, came over from Ireland. So maybe my wife could be related to you, couldn't you? Somewhere down the line. Now that you've retired, what does life after a footballer involve? Well, for, for different footballers, it involves different things. For me, I have got seven children. Can you believe that? And do you know how old my eldest child is? Have a guess. How young do I look? I look very young, don't I? <laughs> so, you look at me, yeah? And you tell me how old you think my eldest child is. 21. My eldest child is 31. Do I look old enough to have a 31 year old? <laughs> and do you know how old my youngest child is? Six. So I've got children. I've got children aged between 31 and six and two grandchildren. So all of my time is spent up being a taxi driver. I've got to drive my kids. I'm sure your mum and dad are the same. They've got to drive you everywhere, haven't they? And a bank manager, because I've got to give my children money. So all I do is I chase after my children. But when I'm not doing that, I do a lot of work for Liverpool Football Club. This kind of stuff, flying around the world. I go to South Africa, China, Australia, India. It's a lot of travelling. I've had 280 flights in two years. Oh my. So that's a lot of flying. So um, I do media work, television work, where you commentate on football, and I do ambassadorial work for Liverpool, things like this. But the most important thing, and the thing that gives me the most pleasure, is just being at home with the kids. At Dulwich College Shanghai, students are given the opportunity to play football from the age 4 to 18. What advice can you give them to become skilled players whilst representing the college both nationally and internationally? Well, first of all, all the advice I give children all the time is to enjoy it. That's the main thing. To enjoy whatever you do and to be disciplined and dedicated because talent alone is not enough. And uh, I remember when I was at school, uh, and what we had was you have children who are very clever, but they don't work hard. So they're clever, they pass exams, but they don't work hard during the day. And football is just like being in school. Because when you watch a football match and you see on a, on a Saturday, for example, and you see Liverpool play and you know Steven Gerrard and you see Steven Gerrard scoring goals and you say what a great player Steven Gerrard is. You know why he's a great player? Because he trains hard Monday to Friday. So when you take an exam at school and you take the exam whenever, on the, on the Friday, you don't pass the exam on the day you take it, you pass the exam in your preparation leading up to it. So the preparation is the most important thing. So the advice I give the kids is always, if you fail to prepare, be prepared to fail. So preparation is the most important thing. So you work hard, and that's what you do in football, exactly the same. So the advice I give them is to work hard, to enjoy it, and also, in team sports, you have to respect your teammates because I can tell that you are the superstar on the team. You score all the goals, everybody loves you, you're fantastic, but all your teammates are equally as important. So you have to respect your teammates, even the ones who may not be as good as you, because that is what the team sport's all about. Yeah. Is this your first time to Shanghai? This is not my first time to Shanghai. This is my second time to Shanghai. You know, the first time I came to Shanghai was 1982. A long time ago, so this college wasn't here. Everything you see around Shanghai wasn't here, it's a completely different place. So it's changed a lot since 1982. Thank you once again for taking time to meet with me today. It's a pleasure. Give me a high five.